Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate molar mass. It's... Welcome back everybody. Make sure you've got your periodic table handy and let's jump right on in and let's do some molar mass calculations. All right, it's actually really quite simple. All you do is you look up the molar mass of each individual element and then you multiply it by the number of atoms there are in that particular formula. You just add them all up. Okay, it's really quite simple. So I've got two examples here for you. One that's relatively simplistic and another one that seems to be complicated, but hopefully once I've done it, you'll see just how easy it really is. Okay, one more thing before we get started. Um, what I do in my class uh, as I tell all my classes to take the molar mass that's on the periodic table and round it to the tenths place. And I just do that for the sake of consistency so that we're all rounding to the same thing. Obviously you need to do whatever your teacher tells you, but what I'm going to be doing in all these examples here is rounding everything to the tenths place. All right, so here we go. Starting with aluminum chloride right here. Okay, so aluminum, okay, when you look up on the periodic table, has a mass of 27 Point zero grams per mole, and in this particular formula, there is only one aluminum. Okay, so obviously that uh, multiplies out to get 27.0. Chlorine, on the other hand, all right, so here's chlorine. It has a mass of 35.5, and as you can see, there are three of them right here, so we'll multiply that by three, okay, and that equals 106. 0.5. Now all we do is we're going to take those two numbers and add them together and we get 133.5 and this being molar mass our units are grams per mole. Okay let's check out this example down here. Okay it looks like there's a lot going on but it's really quite simple so let's check it out. Uh, nitrogen here has a molar mass of so nitrogen has a molar mass of 14 Point zero, and on the inside of the parentheses there's only one but there's a two on the outside so we're going to do 14 times 2 which equals 28.0. The next one up is hydrogen. Now hydrogen has a mass of 1.0 uh, grams per mole off of the periodic table and now there's four hydrogens on the inside of parentheses but with the two on the outside we're going to multiply it so four times two gives us 8 and obviously 1 times 8 is 8 so 8.0 next one up is carbon carbon has a mass of 12.0 and in that particular formula there's only one of them so there you go so 12 times 1 is obviously 12 last one up is oxygen and oxygen has a, match, a mass of 16.0 multiply that by 3, so 16 times 3 is 48, 48.0. Now we're going to take all those numbers and just add them all up. Okay, so when you add them up, you get 96.0. And once again, our units are grams per mole. Okay, so that's how it's done. All you got to do is take a look at the formula. You look up each individual atom. You uh, write out the molar mass like we did here multiply by the number of atoms in that formula and you get that answer. Do the same thing for every single one of them and then you just add them all up. It's that easy. So thanks a lot guys. Well thank you for watching. As always if you have any questions be sure to comment below and if this is your first time watching thank you so much. Please hit that subscribe button and join us on this adventure known as chemistry. Remember I'm not Dan and neither are you. Check you later. Now I'm ready.